my new favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. They pulled off, I would say, the biggest move in free agency so far in signing quarterback Russell Wilson. A $1.2 million deal, very much a bargain for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't think a lot of people had the Steelers and Russell Wilson on their bingo card, but yet the number was pulled. What happened in that meeting, that visit with Russell Wilson and Mike Tomlin? Well, you know, first of all, it's a a lot of players, if not all the players, really respect Mike Tomlin. So that's number one. That's that's what got him in in the door and talking here. And once you get him in the door and you start talking to uh, Mike Tomlin, I mean, it's pretty hard to get out the door right there because both of them are very smooth talkers, as in Mike Tomlin and Russell Wilson, who just finished up a uh, news conference here a little bit ago. Um, Russell was speaking glowingly of the organization. And, you know, what I found kind of interesting of what he said, Kirk, was he's looking to have a good five to seven years left. Mm. Five to seven (laughs) years left. That's in his early 40s. If you can get that out of him, that's great right there. So um, I don't think this was on anybody's radar until he showed up here. Maybe if it was a, you know, a goodwill gesture of bringing him in here because he has some ties with, some of the uh, minority owners. However, he got in here. Once he got here, it was pretty known quickly that he he wasn't leaving. But but Mark, my thing is this: the Steelers won ten games last year. They went ten and seven. They make the playoffs. Adding Russell Wilson to a quarterback room that will be without Mitch Mitch Trubisky, be without Mason Rudolph. Kenny Pickett is still there, but I thought it was something to be said that last year when Kenny Pickett was healthy that Mike Tomlin still went with Mason Rudolph as his quarterback. I think that Russell Wilson is an upgrade. A team that went 10-7 and now has Russell Wilson. Does this make the Pittsburgh Steelers a now contender, not just for the division, but for maybe an AFC title? Well, they have a couple more things to go after here to clean up a little bit. You know, they got rid of Deontay Johnson, so their wide receiver room is a little bit light right now. But I'm sure general manager Omar Khan has something up his sleeve here relatively soon to address that and they got to add a couple more pieces on defense as well they did add patrick queen as well which is a a substantial get on defense for a team that was uh, lacking an inside linebacker but uh you know i was a little bit skeptical myself of russell wilson i mean he hasn't had the best of two or three years right now but just to see him talking and, and presenting himself to the media and and some of the stories he was telling, the guy is an absolute 100% leader. And if he can only play partly as well as he <laughs> shows that he can lead, this team's going to be extremely difficult. I mean, they got a decent offensive line. They got two really, really good running backs right now, Jalen Ward and Najee Harris. Um, like I said, they had to add a couple more pieces. Russell's still going to have to play well. Um, moving forward better than he has in the past couple of years. But my goodness, he really uh, won people over, I think, today with just how he brings a different type of leadership to this room. We've seen Roethlisberger here for 18 years. He led in a different way. The past three years, they've been you know, looking for guys when they had Pickett and they had Trubisky, and those guys weren't in that same position. But mm-hmm. Russell Wilson showed he's a pro's pro. And like I said, if he's only a fraction – of what he showed here about an hour ago on the field. This team will be a very difficult team to beat. Senior Steelers writer for the Athletic, Mark Caballi, joining uh, the Rich Eisen Show. Kirk Morrison here filling in for Rich. And and Mark, I I know that Mike Tomlin is going to tell us he's there's a competition at quarterback. Is there really a competition at quarterback between Russell Wilson and Kenny Pickett? Does Kenny Pickett have a legitimate shot at winning this quarterback job? Or is it just Russell Wilson by by nature? It's going to be him. And we just don't even have to wait for week one. Just give it to Russell. Yeah, you know, I, I like Kenny Pickett. I think he'll eventually uh, figure things out right here. But you're not bringing in Russell. I mean, who are we kidding here? <laughs> We're not bringing in Russell Wilson to be a, but he's going to have to fail miserably in the preseason and training camp. And even then, he's probably going to get the benefit of the doubt uh, during the season right here. So, I mean, Russell was very, very careful of how he uh, laid out 
that question that was asked to him, if he's the starter or if he's coming in to, to compete, he knows darn well he doesn't want to ruffle any feathers right now. That's not the time nor the place to do it right now. But Russell Wilson is the starting quarterback of your Pittsburgh Steelers, <laughs> barring injury, barring him. I, I mean, there's nothing else I can see than him not starting the season as the starter than an injury. I mean, other than that, he's your yeah. starter. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.